Okay, the next technique we're going to look at is called thundering hammers. This is for a right punch. And there again, this is also in long four, so you're going to need to learn this power side, weak side. So as your opponent comes in with the right punch, we're going to do a cross body parry as our right hand. This is one of the few times we're actually going to drop our hand before a strike, because this is where we want to set up. So we're going to come in here, one. Now there's two ways to do this. Some people back fist the groin, and some people forearm right under the rib cage. I prefer to go right under the rib cage and dump that, that lung and the air out of the lung. So one forearm strike. Now from here, this hand's going to be in check. It's going to come up, hammer fist the back of the head, hammer fist again, step back as we leave the hand in check, back fist, claw, claw of the face. Okay, again, here, one, two, three, hand stays in check, we step back, back fist, and claw. Okay, from this angle, right punch comes, hand drops, forearm right into the the right end of the rib cage to dump the arrow right into the groin depending on what you can reach. Strike. Okay? This hand comes up. Hammer fist. Hammer fist. This time it stays in check as we step back. Back fist. Claw. One more time. One, two, three, four. Step back. Back fist and claw. Okay, let's look at this one from a different angle. So we're going to step, one, boom. Now as you notice, my weight's going to come up a little bit. I'm going to drive down because this is a downward strike, so we want some drop of body weight to help with this. But you don't want to come up a lot. It's just a little bit, just to get some oomph into it. Here, here, back fist, claw. Okay, last time straight on. That's thundering. Hammers. So as your opponent comes in and does a right punch, we're going to come in and parry the hand. Now what we want to do is we don't usually do this. This is one of the few techniques we're actually going to drop our hand out of chamber and have it hanging here. Then from here, depending on your instructor, tradition is to the groin. What we actually do is we come in and right under the, the, the rib cage, we hit with a forearm and just dump all that air out of their body. That doubles them completely over. Then you got your right hand or left hand caught high, hammer fist the kidney. As the guy comes up, we're going to hammer fist the back of the head. Your right hand is going to stay there in check as we step out. So we back fist the face, come in and claw the face. Okay, again, I'm thundering hammers. Parry, hand hanging down, dump all that air out of his lungs, or if you want, go to the groin. Hammer fist the kidney. Hammer fist the back of the head, step back as you check, back fist the face, come in and claw the face. Okay, from a different angle. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and claw is six. Last time for thundering hammers. Left foot to 1030, forearm smash. Hammer fist the kidneys, hammer fist the back of the neck, back fist the face, shuffle in and claw. It's called thundering hammers.